emotion attachment as well. Yes, that's it. You know, uh, awatif also. I don't, sometimes it happens psycho, social factor. Social factor mean he, he knows Islam is the truth. Yeah. But he thinks, okay, now if I become Muslim, my family will come against me. Yeah. You know, I'm going to lose friends and families. So you will turn away from Islam. Yeah. That's why no one ever in history will try to reject Islam intellectually. No. Anyone try to do that is lying to himself. No, 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 it's, it's the same way uh, when, when I came to it, it was through intellectual reasons. Yeah. It, wasn't, it wasn't an emotional thing. So it's like yeah. being, being in Christianity is more emotion, it's about believing in you know, Jesus is God. And yeah, yeah, yeah. All of that that's where your sins and. Uh, yeah, yeah. So what, yeah. what you find is you don't, they don't actually read the scripture. So yeah, that's like, right. That's for, right. The, for the most part, um, it's what you're taught by like, the priest. Yeah, 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 the priest so, and the pastor, yeah. Another issue that I used to have is like when you when you go to like a church, right? Yeah. And then they say to, to open your Bible. Yeah. And everyone can't find what they're looking for. So that used to bother me as a child. I used to say, well, open the child, a child, Bible. He opens, he opens, he opens. Yeah. And then we're looking for certain verse. It's not in this one, it's not in that one, it's not in that one. So I'm like, looking at it, I'm like, something weird. But Something's it, not normal. Yeah. You know, I have my friend, he has a revert. He always with me. I don't know where it's gone. He said the same thing. He said, he's a revert here. Yeah. He said, he said when he used to go to this Christian meeting, always said, Jesus came to me. Yeah. And he used to say, how come Jesus never came to me, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, so subhanAllah, alhamdulillah, he became Muslim. Again, what is emotional. Like when we speak to Christians, where they say, you cannot understand it because you don't have the Holy Spirit. No, 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 but in order for you to have the Holy Spirit, you have to become a Christian. Yeah, yeah. So I have to be blind, for I have to have a blind faith, then believe. That's, 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 that's what they do. That's, that's, that's the same conversation I had. Like obviously, the first time when I come fishing. Yeah. I was excited. When you become Muslim, oh, so yeah. Muslim. Yeah. 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 So yeah. Um, I was excited because I had watched. Um, mm -hmm. No one watched like I'm a D that video and stuff like that. I was thinking, oh, now I'm ready to yeah. go speak to my mother. Oh. First time I went to speak to her. Yeah, you got excited. <laughs> I lost that battle. Uh, yeah, yeah, of it, was, it was an emotional time for me because I lost it. And I was thinking, I didn't understand why I lost it. I was looking at her thinking, I'm trying to tell you the truth here. Yeah, what, yeah. You're, what you're believing in yeah. is absolute nonsense in a yeah. way. But obviously, you know, being my mother, I'm thinking, of course. I, I still have to have the respect. No doubt. I try to find a way to break it down. Mm, yeah. I didn't have the tools to break it down then. Yes. And then up until I come to a verse where, you know, it's the hard when I lost it. Yeah, that yeah. verse, it kind of stuck with me. And then from then, I had to come to peace with it. And I was like, you know what, there's other ways to do it. To do and it. this is not the way to, to attack her. Because she felt, yeah. so a lot of times the Christians were talking to them. Because like, my, it's like personal attack. Yeah, yeah my, my, my sister's yeah. a pastor. My mom is, like, when I'm in Dubai, very devout. Devout, so yeah. When you're speaking to them, they feel it's an attack. Oh, yeah, 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 straight away. So it's like, yeah. the first thing she said to me, she's like, in your religion, do you not do miracles? And I was like, yeah. yeah. How do you mean miracles? Do you, do you, do you heal the sick, the sick, yeah. all of yeah. that stuff? Oh, yeah. And that completely kind of threw me off. Because yeah. And I was like, I didn't have the language or yeah, 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 yeah. But then later down the line, you know, she starts to, to understand a little bit. But as far as her coming and said, you know, I deserve to keep making it. You know about this miracle thing, yeah? They say, when you read on the body in the name of Jesus, you start acting up. That doesn't prove Christianity is correct. Because in Adan Rukia, you know, when I do Rukia, remember, I see Rukia people, we see them, the way they moving. I can't say to the person, believe in Islam is the truth because of Ruqya. No, no, no. no. That's why what differentiates Islam from any religion. Islam gives you universal proof. Yeah, yeah. Proof that everyone can analyze. Yeah. Not a personal proof in the Islam. Because the Hindus say the same thing. Yeah. Buddhists say the same thing. So what happened with that? Sometimes the jinn can be someone who's just deceiving you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Deceiving, making believe what you're saying is, is true in this time. Because remember, when you deal with the jinn, with the demons, you are dealing with the unseen. Like, I, 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 I had situations when I done the ruqya on a jinn, and the jinn become Muslim. Wow. Now, did he become Muslim? Allah, Alhamdulillah. But Allah knows best. Because remember, it's the unseen. He said before, I'll leave, let me take shahad. That's a take shahad, that left. But again, can I say for sure he become Muslim? Allah Alam. Because yeah, yeah. why? It's the unseen. Yeah, yeah. So can I say, can I, and if you notice my da'wah, even I had this many personal experience with the people, but I never used it in my da'wah to prove Islam is the truth. Yeah, no, there's no need. Yeah, no, because I have universal proofs. In this time, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he the Quran, the Sunnah, and so on, in this time, that's what makes Islam so beautiful. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's very much intellectual. The first time living when I heard like, Ahmed Ida speak, right? Yeah, Rahimahullah. And then I was, I, 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 first thing I looked at him, I was standing, because I knew a lot of stories, like from um, Yusuf Alayhi Salaam. Yusuf, yeah, yeah. I used to know 
these stories growing up, Moses growing Moses, up. Moses, yeah, yeah, Abraham, Noah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I had a distorted version. But distorted then, version, I, I like that one. I had this man standing there, and he's telling the stories. I was like, what is he talking about? And yeah. Now I'm hearing them in versions that I've never heard. Heard them before, yeah. yeah. So he's, you know, he's battling these Christians, and then they cannot answer his questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This then when I, he I was never, after them, man. Yeah, I never knew, I never knew about like, Islam. And Islam, I, yeah, yeah. What is Islam? Yeah, like, what is it? My first encounter. Yeah. Speaking, and then, uh, then it intrigued my, my um, curiosity. Curiosity, yes. Like, Let me look and see what this man is. They said curiosity killed the, the, the cat. Yeah. But no, curiosity saved the cat. Yes. You know who did example? Yes, yes. That's a good curiosity. <laughs> I became curious and I became yeah. obsessed. So now I define that. And it should learn. Yeah, I need to find what this yeah. guy is talking about. Yeah. I went through a journey. Mashallah, mashallah. I locked myself in my house for about uh, like years. So Subhanallah, years. I was reading and searching. Yeah, I was reading. I was reading, I was reading everything. I was going through the Quran, going through a couple of deeds here and then and stuff like that. I was just going through a lot of watching a lot of videos. But then in that time, and I. I, I used to call myself Muslim, but I, was, I didn't take it. So I didn't know you could say you take it. Oh, you take it. Allah, Allah, Yeah, I didn't know. Allah, so, Akbar. Then, but you don't have, you know, sorry to cut you, Akhi Yusuf, yeah? You don't have to say Shahada to become Muslim. Oh. Yeah, Ibn Qayyim, may Allah have mercy for him, said, it's sufficient so someone say, yes, I believe what Prophet Muhammad came to true and I'm a Muslim. Oh. It's enough. But Shahada, so it's not conditional, you have to say, Ashadu Allah, Ilaha, Allah, Muhammad, Rasulullah. Ibn Qayyim said, there's different ways to say it. Oh, okay. Because Ashadu Allah, oh, I believe, yeah, I accept Islam is truth, and I'm Muslim, and I submit to Allah, the Prophet Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That's it's seven. But Shahada is what? Well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know. Just that. a benefit I just had to share it. Oh, from Ibn Qayyim. I, I didn't know, I went through yeah. a long period. I think yeah. it was a period of about maybe five years when I was looking into Islam. Yeah. And then, then I used to just call myself Muslim. Anyone asked me, I'm like, yeah, Muslim. SubhanAllah. So so but then later I was like, oh, I need to take it. Let me find out. How do you become a Muslim? <laughs> How do you become initially a Muslim? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So this was during the time of uh, lockdown. So oh, I, I couldn't go to no man's kid or anything like yeah. that. Yeah. And then I just. I can do it by myself. I was in my house. Yeah. And I was locked down. You couldn't go anywhere. You couldn't go anywhere. Of course, so the first lockdown, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. So for about two years, two years yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From so there, I just increased on research and looked at lots of things. And then it was all intellectual. Of course. You know, you know one thing, Yusuf. Look at how Allah has been glorified in the Quran. Yeah. And look the way they speak about Allah in the Old Testament, the New Testament. Yeah. Like crazy. In the Old Testament, regret. Yeah. The Old Testament, God became very worried because people are speaking one language. Yeah. 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 He created the heavens and the earth six day, seven day rested and refreshed. You know, and that's eleven tickets. So refresh, you know, refresh means re energized. Yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the nature of God. You come to the New Testament, nonsense. Again, when you compare the historical or the the, history, the, the, the stories of the prophets and messengers in the Quran with the stories of the prophets and messengers in the Old Testament and the New Testament, you can see prophet, the prophets in the Quran, they've been glorified, yeah, yeah. well respected. Why? Do you know why, Akhi Yusuf? Imagine you have uh, kids. Do you have kids? No, no. no. May Allah give you righteous, uh, righteous kids. Imagine you have a daughter or a boy. I said, look, there's a teacher. He's going to teach his child. But that teacher, he just had, 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 had intercourse with his own daughters. Would you allow him to teach your child? Yeah. If you go out, these guys no more. You yeah. understand? Yeah. So Allah is the most wise. When Allah chose the prophets and messengers, He chose those who were known amongst their nation to be trustworthy, yeah. truthful, honest. You know, yeah. Moses. You look to in the story of the Old Testament, the one that called people to worship the 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 the, the, the calf is Aaron. Yeah. But in the Quran, no, it's not Aaron. It's Samiri. Yeah, Allah defend, defend yeah, Aaron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can see that the, Allah sent the Quran to defend the owner and speak well of the Prophet and the messengers. So Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam, logically, rationally, with our uh, uh, fitrah, with our natural inclination, a man that is defending Prophet and messengers in a good way, and he's not from God, but you claim you book from God by speaks about the prophets and messengers worse than Hitler and Stalin. Yeah, yeah. It, it, that, that didn't make any sense. Because, uh, David. A lot of them, yeah, yeah. David, he was according to the Old Testament, a liar. He set up his own friend, his best friend, because he fell in love with a woman. Oh, his wife. His yeah. wife, Akhi. Yeah. Prophet Dawood, he was a righteous prophet, alayhi salatu was salam. We love him, you know? You come to uh, Prophet uh, Noah, he got drunk. So, so rationally, a man that receives it, that's their claim. The man is receiving the revelation from Satan 
he speaks in the best way, in a, in, a, in a perfect way about the prophets and messengers who God chose. This book, the Bible, they claim from God, but it speaks about God and the prophets and messengers in an evil way. How can you judge? How can you claim your book, who is full of disrespect of God, disrespecting the prophets and messengers from God, but the other book who respects God, glorify God, glorify the prophets and messengers from Satan? It doesn't make any sense. So, when you put it like that, that's, that's, my first encounter was reading the stories of the prophets. The messages, yes. Yeah. Ibn Kathir. Yeah, Ibn yeah, yeah. Kathir, may Allah have mercy upon him. I read that, 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 that book, Stories of Prophets, and I went through that whole thing. And then that's when I realized, I partly realized, I was like, this is all wrong. Because now when you're hearing the stories from the Bible, you're like, who's actually writing this? This is, this is another thing I stumbled on. I was like, who's actually writing this? And then when I, when I did the research now to look into the Bible to see, to find the, the writers, anonymous. <laughs> so you went deeper. You could find even the writers. I, I went deep because, because it, was, it was a thing where I was trying to prove, because my first encounter was I was trying to prove, because um, I, I used to do music. So I, I, okay. I was trying to find why people worship the devil. So this is where I stumbled upon it. Now going into it, yeah. I was like, so why would someone distort something that's called the word of God yeah. to, to write such horrible things? But there's there's some disgusting things that I read in there, you know, about I, I wouldn't even want of to. Of course, say it. it's about yeah. Solomon. Yeah, yeah. Solomon yeah, yeah. and about God, how he described the woman's body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. I, I, that's one of the things I asked like, I was like, if if this is the word of God, why would you have such feel that I can't read to my nieces? Yeah, yeah. Like, I would imagine that. now I have to read this book to them. I can't read this stuff to them because, yeah. and say, because they're going to look at me and say, like, why am I exposing them to you? Yeah. So it doesn't make sense to me. So. Even about Isaiah, for example, uh, sorry to cut you. Isaiah is the prince of the prophets and messengers. Isaiah, he claimed his miracle was two years to walk around naked. Huh? That's, yeah, that's an Old Testament. That's, what? that's a miracle. The sign, so Isaiah's sign was he has to walk naked for two years. Anyone can do that. A'udhu Billah, that's crazy. That's crazy. But Alhamdulillah, like I Islam is a ni'mah, Alhamdulillah. That's why, you know, you know, that's why I always mention in my videos. If you have a sound reasoning and natural inclination, you accept Islam. Yeah, yeah. Alhamdulillah. But your story is very amazing, mashallah, for sharing it with us. You know, even for people who are out there, Christians, in a new story, because subhanallah. Yeah, no, I thought I'd come out and my friend was, my friend was, was the one who was like, oh, we have to go. May Allah bless you. Marhaban, marhaban. Barakallahu fikum. I don't want to take too much. No, no, May Allah bless you. It's my pleasure to meet you, you know. May Allah bless you, Yusuf. Khalid. Omar. Omar, Khalid. Barakallahu fikum. Jazakum Allah khair. May Allah bless you. Barakallahu fikum.